Hey, Kelly Ritchie here. Um, this series is going to be a very short series because I've said for years that if I have three pieces of paper, that's all I need to give you everything that you need to know to play the blues. So, number one, you need to know the names of the notes up and down your fifth and sixth strings and your E, E minor, and E7 chords, your A, A minor, and A7 chords. That gives you the ability to know bar chords all the way up and down the neck of your guitar. So by taking a E chord and replacing the nut with your first finger, each fret you have another chord. So by knowing the names of the notes, E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, and they follow the alphabet, then you have 12 new chords. E, F, F sharp, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E. Okay? Same thing with your A chord. A string, A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, all the way up. Another 12 chords. You can take that A chord, have your finger replace the nut, so you can bar it. A chord, B flat, B, C, C note, that's a D note. D chord, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, a flat A. There's another 12 chords. So there's 24 chords just by learning your E and your A and knowing that your first finger can replace the bar and scoot those all the way up and down the neck. 25 chords. So E minor. There's 12 more chords. That's an A note. A minor. That's a B note. B minor. C note. C minor. E7, you can do the same thing. Here's an E7 chord, F7, because that's an F note, F sharp 7, G7, A flat 7. So, there's 36 chords based off of the E string, A, A minor, and A7. You can move those A7 shaped chords up the neck. So knowing every, the name of every note up and down your A string, gives you another 36 chords. So I've got charts here that you can look at, but learn the names of the notes up and down your fifth and sixth strings. Like you know your email address, your phone number, your social security, uh, you know, your best friend's name. You just need to know those. Just like in fifth grade, we did flashcards and learned our multiplication tables. Had we not known our multiplication tables, everything else would have been really hard. <laughs> we said, okay, seven times seven is, okay? So learn the names of the notes, A, String A, B, C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So those A, B, C, D, E, F, G, we have seven letters of the alphabet that name all of the notes up and down the neck of the guitar. And if you picture a piano where you have two black notes and then three black notes, and the rest are white notes, those in between black notes are the sharps and flats, okay? So learn those, learn your E, E minor, E7, a, A minor, A7. There you go, 72 chords, all right? One system. Now, if you know the names of your notes up and down these two strings, you can also play your blues scale. You can play it based off the root being on your sixth string or a position of it based off the root being on your fifth string. Now, a lot of people take the pentatonics, which means penta five note scale, that gets its name from the root or the tonic. Uh, and there's lots of theory behind why it's a pentatonic and blah, blah, blah. You don't need to know the theory to be able to play blues with this simple scale. Uh, you can learn all of that, but it's not going to make you play simple blues, okay? So the pentatonic scale, a lot of people break down the fingering of it, of those dots, the patterns, into five different patterns. My teacher taught me two patterns, period, and how to expand them. That way I'm covering the entire neck of the guitar. 
I'm covering all five fingerings, but it's an easier finger pattern. I'm able to use my first and third fingers and fly up and down the neck. Instead of learning all these intricate fingerings up and down the neck that I always found to be laborious, they slowed me down, uh, there were more to remember. So the way that my teacher broke it down was brilliant. And I mean, I hit the ground, I knew my bar chords in a minute, I knew those two scales in a minute, and now it's like, okay, what do I do with these? <laughs> you know, it's like, here's your alphabet, go write a novel. Well, um, he showed me. You know, I learned little things like the intro to Hey Joe and the intro to Red House, and it's like, okay, I could see those dots put into motion. So, I'm going to show you the pattern. I'll start, and this is all in, in the diagram, but if I'm in the key of A, that's my blue scale. And I call this a minor pentatonic root six in its basic form. The next A minor pentatonic on the guitar is a root five with my system, and it looks like this. This is an A minor pentatonic root five uh, basic form. Now, notice that the root's there, and when I played the scale, I didn't start on the root. You don't have to start on the root. I've yet to play the root, okay? So, it's just where that note is in reference to the pattern, okay? So, root six, A minor pentatonic, root five, A minor pentatonic. Then I can expand them. Instead of playing with my pinky up here, I can play that note here. And instead of playing these two, str these two strings like this, I'm gonna move these two notes up here and expand my pattern to where now I'm gonna uh, cover this much of the neck with the same notes that I'm playing here. Okay. And there's there's the root. So this is an A minor pentatonic expanded form. So we have a root six minor pentatonic expanded and a root six minor pentatonic basic. Same notes. Okay, so you can do all kinds of stuff, learn to dance in all kinds of ways. How you put together the dots is how you play lead. And yes, there are some uh, standard licks that would be helpful if you learned. And those are easy to learn. But knowing the pattern first so what you learn has a, has a, a, a place to land is really helpful. So there's the A minor or the root six minor pentatonic basic and expanded. Here's the root five minor pentatonic. Here's the basic. These two notes that I'm playing with my pinky are right there. So I've got a box. I'll move that up there. There's the root in reference to these notes. So A minor pentatonic, root five minor pentatonic on the 12th fret makes it an A minor pentatonic. Expanded minor pentatonic root five with the root on the 12th fret, it's an A minor pentatonic expanded. Okay, so there you go. Uh, in the key of E, I have an E here on the sixth string, E here on the fifth string, E here on the sixth string. So if I'm gonna just make my, I'll 
obviously I don't need my finger, I've got the nut there, so. There's my E minor, root six, minor pentatonic, basic form, in its open position. And I can expand it up, but obviously I can't expand it down. I don't have any room on the neck. E note. Here's my root five, minor pentatonic basic. My root five, minor pentatonic expanded. And an octave higher from here. Root six, minor pentatonic basic. When I played that on the 12th fret, it's an E minor pentatonic expanded. Root six expanded minor pentatonic with the root on the 12th fret is an E minor pentatonic. So there you go. If you know the names of the notes up and down your fifth and sixth strings and you know those two patterns, basic and expanded, boom. You've got the whole E minor whole neck two patterns okay uh, so there's 72 chords every note to your blues scale to your minor pentatonics all over the neck I can put that on two pieces of paper, and I've done that here. Uh, the other thing is finger exercises. Um, you've got to learn how to play the guitar to be able to play it. It's not just about making a chord and strumming. That's very important. But learning to play an individual note, getting as close to the fret as possible on the tip of your finger, and then playing that, getting that together, and then the next note, and then the next note, and then the next note. All down picks when you're learning. You use alternating picks once you have mastered down picks. If you push the process too fast, you will stop dead in your tracks. So, Practice perfect, practice to your weaknesses, play to your strengths, and a good 20 minutes a day, 30 minutes would be great, work. Not fun, not play, but work, and then throw it out the window, play and have fun, okay? Uh, I'm including Hey Joe and Red House, and then some bar chords as a bonus. So uh, Hey Joe has every open chord form in it. That's a whole different guitar lesson. But every shape of all the guitars that are played, all the chords that are played on a guitar, every single shape, that's the basic template for shapes, for chords, lives in Hey Joe. Every one of them. So if you learn the chords to Hey Joe, you know every single shape. Now you may say, oh, I saw them play that, and Kelly, that's not one of those. It's a combination, okay? And the chord progression uses the circle of fifths. Again, that's theory that you don't have to know to be able to play Hey Joe, but that's when it gets to the end, it just resolves itself and just keeps going round and round and round. And Hey Joe's not 12 bar blues, so it's a really good song to learn. C, G, D, A, E7, E7. Bar chords C, G, D, A, E7, E7, C, I'll throw in the riff now so you can see the pentatonic in action. Here's a fancier chord and a riff with an E minor pentatonic. sharp nine, a riff, and E minor pentatonic. So 
You can play a really basic form, a real sophisticated form. Um, so you can turn Hey Joe into this big masterpiece. I mean, it's, it's kind of a masterpiece I work to create my own version of. Um, it's a great song to learn. And then um, Red House is, is going to be included, the chords to that. Um, and I've got two videos on my YouTube uh, channel to where you can see a performance of me doing Hey Joe multiple times, actually, and a performance of me playing Red House. So if you wanted to take lessons from me, anything that you saw in either one of those videos, I would know how to do because I was the one playing it. Uh, you know, so you could say, oh, hey, four minutes and ten seconds in, what are you doing there? So those are two songs that I use when I first start teaching, um, those two songs. And then for the bar chord things, I threw in like um, Wild Thing, um, All Along the Watchtower, and um, Gloria. So you can check those out too because those are, are real simple bar chord songs. A minor, G, F, G, So there's all along the watchtower. So that's another one that's easy to learn. And then Gloria. E, D, A, E. Okay, so that gets you started. Everything you need to know to play, really anything that I play on the guitar, I can put on three pieces of paper. The information for that on two pieces of paper, a good calisthenic for your fingers, a finger exercises, three Swiss Army knife, you know, good solid finger exercises, the only three that I do consistently to warm up. I've done them for a really long time now. Those, take those seriously and watch those. and. Um, this will get you started, okay? All right. Uh, if you're interested in taking lessons, I've got a True Fire channel that for $5 a month, there's 150 of my videos that I've shot that have, you know, everything that I teach and tab and rhythm tracks. It's $5 a month. You have access to the, to the material. Uh, if you want to pick up a video exchange lesson, especially if you're somewhere else in the world on a strange time zone, um, the a single lessons I think thirty nine dollars and a month's worth of lessons where you can take weekly that's ninety nine dollars so that's a real easy way you make a video I watch it I send you a video response and I set you up each week or answer your questions in an individual lesson or you can uh, we can work together through Skype uh, iPhone you know uh, over the internet so either way I, I do one on one lessons with students all over the world all the time. And uh, the $5 uh, Cutting Edge channel by Kelly Ritchie on the True Fire thing is what I encourage people for 5 bucks to sign up to use as support material. That way, whenever I'm teaching somebody in a Skype lesson, I don't have to worry about them getting it or needing to write it down. They can just take notes, sign on, boom. You can listen to me uh, over and over, and you can turn me off. Okay, turn it up or down. So uh, hopefully this helps. Uh, I love to teach. I've taught almost as long as I've played, and that's been a long time. And, uh, and I, I love teaching. So uh, if there's anything I can do to help you out, please let me know. I would be honored to be your teacher. Okay, all right, take care.